Hi everyone, this is Derek the Midwest Strong, and I was just checking in for today. Um, Bridget Queen's Crochet and Knits asked me about my tattoos, so I was going to show them off today. So first off is, this is not in order of when I got the, this is not in order of when I got them, this is just starting from the top down kind of. It says no CPR. The colors bled out, um, but it still looks fine. And I actually do have a DNR form. I'm, I used to work in healthcare. I've seen what CPR can do on people. I can see that there are, you know, there are people that it saves. There are situations where CPR is awesome, like in the case of trauma or um, during surgery. For the average person, the people you see coming back, those are the exceptions to the rule, not the rule. And my biggest fear is being trapped in my body, unable to communicate. So if I'm dead, let me be. I probably don't know at that point. So that's that one. The next one is this. My, you know, because I swear, there was a time period where everybody was getting tribal tattoos. So I have this one. We colored in the spot blue so it looks like there's a nose, like there's a little face looking at you. It kind of looks like a cartoon animal at this point. It doesn't go all the way around. Look at my armpits. Um, the pattern wasn't um, long enough to go all the way around my arm because, you know, I'm not skinny. And the guy that did it didn't have, he wasn't confident enough in his ability to draw to extend it. So I would rather have it shorter than ugly. And then, let's see, we have, look at my leg there, um, my Celtic, let's bring it up here. There, you can see a little bit of a purple triangle. This is a cover-up. The triangle was one of those homemade ones that I was doing myself. And I gave up in the middle of it because I was doing it. I was doing it with India ink and a stick or a straight pen. Like a sewing needle type pen. And I did quite a bit myself and then just gave up. And the Celtic knot was cover-up. We, cover, we colored in the flames. We never did color in the knot work. Like we were planning on it, um, at this point, I'm just not even messing with it. Okay, and then we have on this hand, we have a barcode. I used to read a lot of science fiction, and that's a theme in like dy near uh, near future dystopian societies where everyone has to get a, you know, a barcode, and things are written by the barcode. And I know you can make the analogy to the mark of the beast and and all that other stuff. And I'm not into that, but I do like the idea of the barcode. And to be honest. If I could get a chip implanted that where I didn't have to carry my wallet, where I didn't have to carry cash, anything like that, I'd go for it. I'd be one of the first ones in line if, as long as I didn't have to pay for it. So, okay. Then we have over here, we have my rainbow frog. When I got him, I didn't have as much hair on my legs as I do now. And now he's my furry frog. But I like him. I like frogs. Back when I was a Christian, way back when, um you know, frogs stood for fully rely on God. And, I mean, that was back from, like, when I was still in high school. You know, I learned that. And I've just always kind of liked frogs. And even, you know, not being much to do with religion anymore, I still like frogs. And, speaking of religion, well, not religion, but, you know, we have the cross. Just a little memory of Memento from when I did the, um, the walk to Florida. And this one down here, yes, I'm fat. This one down here, if I can get to it, it's on the outside of my ankle. This is the very first one I did. Just my blue happy face. And that's just because, just because what, just because I'm smiling doesn't mean I'm happy. Now, that was true when I got the tattoo. It's not so much true anymore. What would be more accurate now would be just because I'm glaring doesn't mean I'm mad. Because I have resting murder face. Okay, and then, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we got one more. That one is, can we see it? Is it showing? It's my name, whoa, sorry about that. It's my name and my birthday. And the story behind that one's kind of sad. When my, step, my dad, stepdad is even more of a hermit than I am. And he was a hermit out in the country where, you know, he could really go forever just about without anyone, you know, messing with him. 
Now, for us, it was normal for us to talk maybe every once every four to six weeks. So, you know, we'd see each other's posts on Facebook and, you know, try, you know, kind of stalk each other that way. And I went to message him on Facebook one time and he didn't respond. So I sent him a text message and he didn't respond. And I finally called him and his phone had been disconnected. And at that point, I was quite concerned. And so I called the sheriff's department and they sent someone out to do a welfare check and he had passed away. And he hadn't recently passed away. It had been, they estimate, two to three months. Which at that point, you know, a lot happens to someone in the first two or three months after they die, especially if they're unattended and in a hot area with very little ventilation. So there was no IDing him by photo. There was no IDing him by, you know, me going down and viewing him. The only way that they would be able to 100% identify him would be with medical records, and we couldn't find a doctor or a dentist, even though we know he had been to them, we just couldn't find any that had anything that we could use. So he got what was considered a conditional identification, which just meant we can't find my stepdad, and this person was in my stepdad's house, so we're just going to say it's my stepdad. And I made the offhand comment to the coroner, because I was the point man, basically, on all of this for the coroner. I made the comment that I already had my social tattooed on me, but people might not know what it, what it meant when they saw it. And so, you know, I was going to get my name and my birthday tattooed on me. And he said, if I do it, to get it done on, my, on the top of my foot, because that's one of the last places where it would become illegible. Just because there's not a whole lot of fat right on the top of the foot. Um, so, you know, scavengers don't go for it because there's not a lot of meat. And it's more likely to mummify than whatnot. So, yeah. But um, I just know, you know, my stepdad is, if there's an afterlife or whatever's going on, you know, my stepdad's with my mom again and they're together and they're happy. So, but that's the reason behind that one. And next, I'm going to put you on pause, I'm going to flip the camera around, and I'm going to show you today's haul. So, back in just a second. Okay, so today's haul isn't yarn. We, we behaved. So, we have blue, come on camera. Come on. Let's try this. Close enough. We have blue nail polish for 25 pesos. I'm going to paint my tooth blue and then I'll probably paint like my toenails blue just for fun. We have a GoPro, or not a GoPro, what do you call it? Selfie stick. Got that. Okay, I actually got four of these earrings because I was missing one and then when I'm down here, one of the, um, pointy pieces came off and so I needed another pointy piece and I don't like the ball in so I take the pointy pieces off so I've got another one that's got balls on it so that and then this coconut this is coconut candy and I love this stuff and this was one of those things I was excited about getting to have when I came back or when I, so. and then we have shirts so we have this tank top these were all I got off for these shirts for ten dollars not $10 each. I mean, it was an off four for 10 So what, two fifty dollars each? So we have this one. A little Cosmo Mexico. A little tank top. We have this one. Of course, that's Cosmo. And I'm glad this year my shirts are, have colors because last year all my shirts were white except for one. Or no, two. I had a black one and a blue one. Then that one. And this one, and when I got it, I didn't know that it was long-sleeved until I just laid it out on the bed. I found it was long-sleeved, and I'm so excited because I need some long-sleeved t-shirts. So, that is my haul for today. And the plans coming up, hey little girl, are tomorrow we're going to go visit one of my sister's friends. And then... My sister has to go back to the dentist again. We think we've got the issue maybe down taken care of. But she's got to go back to the dentist. 
and um, we go visit one of her friends who's going to have surgery on Thursday, so we want to go visit her beforehand. And then we're going to go to Rolando's, which is a Italian restaurant, and have spaghetti. They've got really good food here, there. And Wednesday, we are going to Playa del Carmen to go to Walmart there, and then to... Um, I found a yarn wholesaler on Google Maps, and so we are going to go and check that out. And then I don't know what we're doing Thursday or Friday. I know my sister was talking about she wants to go snorkeling again. So we'll see what happens. Oh, and let me show you my huge mess on my bed. I don't sleep on it, so it becomes a dresser. Where is this whip? Look, I have a deflated tooth. That just looks inappropriate. Okay, three of them are, are stuffed already. I'm almost done with the forced tooth, and then I can stuff it. And then fill it and be done with it. My fingertips hurt because that's tiny and tiny little awkward spaces I'm knitting in. And... Um... A little bit itchy. So it's kind of awkward, but then I'm going to work on the knitting project, and I figured I could make those panels, the Don't Blink and the TARDIS panels, and make enough of them, and I can whip stitch them or mattress stitch them together and make a blanket. So that is what I'm up to today. Let me get this edited and uploaded so y'all can watch it if you want, and I will see you guys tomorrow.
here is more of a daytime view. This is the front part of the apartments. And look, they have pet turtles. Let's see. Uh, through here. Yeah, and people have scooters and whatnot, they park in here. Yeah, they have indoor parking. There's the stairs to go up to where my sister's staying. Oh, that was a wet spot. I just about fell. There is the back part. Cleaned up a bit. So that. And This is where we go in. No escapee. No escapee. Okay. Little Miss is sleeping over there, but she usually hears me with the key and tries to escape. Yeah, I'm talking about you.